Good day guys, coming here. Welcome back to Language 6.0. So alright, this is for the CN server because um I'm doing this not so long video. I'm gonna presume I'm gonna be that draggy. Uh because quite some players has been asking um outside from the CN server that with the introduction of level 10 casting, um go and money is gonna be a huge problem as you have seen some of the past videos um, during the SP burn hard introduction videos about the cost of the casting so <coughs> there's a handful of players worried about not able to keep up so on this part of the video I'm just going to share with you some of the changes with the introduction of level 10 casting so <coughs> of course some have not changed so just follow through so first off on your normal stores to make everyone has much easier life on the equipment section so as you can see um, the amount of gold you can obtain is still the same 120,000 however as you can see the number of times that you can change for this gold amount has been doubled to six times instead of a usual three times So instead of 360,000, you'll be able to get 720,000, though that's still not even a million. And we'll be skipping those um, star, star shops because um, it doesn't mean too much. If you need to spend money to buy directly, then next we have... Okay, looking at events. So we have this um, forbidden event. So as you can see, when you go to the shop, um, do I really change? If I'm not wrong, the previous usual claims again, the amount is sixty thousand, and the max you can change will be ten times. And this time around, you'll be able to exchange up to twenty times. That it's again seven hundred twenty thousand. Then for the goblin treasures, um, I'm mine is not at a triple S rank. However, you guys can try and determine if the goal has been increased or not. So at double S, I'll be getting six hundred and sixty thousand. I'm gonna presume there should be some slight increment. Then next at uh, the guild store. I guess this is the one that has not been really changed is from the guild. So I can exchange up to 10 times and I'll only be getting 1 mil. I'll be getting um, 80,000. No, sorry. Are we getting. 80,000 previously, I can't really remember, but um, this is the current goal you get from the guild, and that's only 1 million. Definitely um, much more than the other shops exchange. <coughs> then you're not able to exchange any of gold, there's no gold exchange for the dimensional expenditions. Then also from your Floating CD stars. Okay, let's go to Wish Machine. Have you guys noticed um, the pictures of wallpaper has been changed? Much more chibier and friendly tone posters. Alright, let's see if I can get any go from it. Oops. Okay, then let's check. So, as you can see, the um, I'm definitely confirm for gold wise uh, the lucky draw machine price are still the same there's no increment of it which is very bad and um, I think some gold mine is not at a max stat so uh, it's very hard to tell apologize okay daily quest events 
um, definitely a must do because it's confirmed that they have doubled the price. The usual is 90,000, so I'm gonna try doing it once. So alright, let us see how much we will be getting. So as you can see, um, it has increased from 90,000 to 180,000. This is a great improvement as the price has been doubled. So do not miss out any coin events on the world event that you saw if not you might regret it and then for story event wise let me check if i have any quest oh no okay i've not really started on the third story let me check back on yellows I definitely missed out a lot of events, daily quests, there should be some go going around. Okay, seriously, where's my go event? Okay, apparently I kind of skipped a lot, and, but I gotta say, um, because it's a fixed old event, the prices are stagnant. Oh, okay, this is one of the events, so is it, this is a Langry's uh, 1.0 to 2.0 and uh, start event. So as you can see, the price is still the same. You only get like 100,000, you're not getting more, you're not getting less. However, as of the start of I'm going to presume it is during the start of S17. If you guys remember one of the previous video I've posed is the introduction of this event which I roughly call it like a upgraded version of your old board game Dungeons and Dragons and this event uh, you can Okay, it's not shown here, give me a while. Okay, um, if you try to play through the event, you can see this is an event that's gonna be um, taking a long while to complete is that all this event you'll be getting some of your extra summoning scrolls and as you progress through the game you'll be getting a lot more goals so this is basically an event to help um, compensate or complement you guys for what you need to suffer for the sake of level 6 to level 10 casting this is some of the rewards you can obtain from this bought the game event and most of it are go and this is how you're gonna obtain it however um if you are slow players and you want to progress fast so you say this you, you may need to um wait for or at least you gotta wait till this s start of s17 or end of s16 apex period uh, only when this bought game event will be introduced then you'll be able to um fight through the stage and get more gold. This is definitely a um, very uh, frustrate, frustration case for a lot of players because like, if you have already cleared your time reef, your interstellar events, etc, etc, um, the only thing you can do is to wait for this body game event to come and that's it. So the best thing you definitely got to do is your world events.
because the price has doubled then the bot game remember to exchange from your stores weekly if you'll be this is just a suggestion so that if you'll be skipping the event or you'll be skipping Langrisa for a short while because you might be going for a holiday overseas trip um, the best is to get your friends whom you trust to log in for you daily or weekly and do some of this quest to have you accumulate gold because um, as of this marching on to 6.0 version Go is definitely going to be playing a great part. Of course, some of you might be saying, "Okay, I'm a, I'm a dolphin, I'm a whale, I'm a some legendary creatures player." There's like a status we give to rich players. So if you want to spend your money to buy for go, let's see if there's any great or good promotions. So nope. Okay, there is one that is for your level 6 to 9, yeah, level 6 to 9 casting, a level 5 to 9 casting. So, um, for level 10, you still got to farm, I'm going to presume, let us check. Uh, the only way you can get is buy this pack, and can buy twice. Um, that, however, this is for the CN server, I noticed that different server, like the Global, Korea, Taiwan, and SEA, the number of times you can purchase um, varies in different regions. Some is once per month or twice per month, etc. etc. So, there's a rune emblem or uh, casting pack you can buy, it. that's going to give you only 3.5 mil at a go. Okay, there's a so-called cheaper pack version where you can buy up to five times and that means 800 per buy and five times 25 this is how um, what you're looking at right now is rmb remember yuan so it's going to be 135 rmb and the max you can get or obtain is four million go Okay, hey, there's another one. Um, oh, this is for your Covenant pack. Oh, they definitely increase the goal you can get from the event, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, previously it's only like within definitely less than 3 to 4 million, and but you're getting 8 million right now. Then the usual burger packs, the goal is still that stingy nothing change is still hundred thousand that you can get max okay accessory costing again the price is stagnant so I'm going to presume that all old Older Langrisa pack versions that is like pre new release of God Covenant or pre Apex 15 or 16. The older version packs, the number of gold they give has not been upgraded or increased. And only on after the release of level 10 casting onward, the price or the money gold you get from a newer pack will be giving you much more gold than usual and i guess that's that we've come to the end um that's it for the question about goal solving for players who are worried about uh how they're not able to upgrade to level 10 for their characters easily due to the lack of goal and that's it remember to like and subscribe if you like this video or it helps you this coming see you guys and goodbye